Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas, streamer. Were you naughty or nice this year? Yes, streamer Santa, I was very nice this year. I got banned from Twitch three times this year. Ho ho ho, three times. You must be really nice. All the presents for you. Thanks, streamer Santa. Now look at this totally real video game I'm playing. The holiday season is just about upon us, and if you're like the rest of us normal human beings, you probably have a little bit of last minute shopping to do. In today's video, we're talking about 10 stocking stuffers for the streamer in your life. So if you're a streamer watching this, maybe pass it along to a family member or friend that is looking for gift ideas for you to stock some stuffing with some streaming goodness and hope that things arrive in time because the holidays during the pandemic are pretty wild. <laughs> These are not ranked in any particular order, and none of these things are sponsored, of course, but first and foremost, we have the RetroTink 2X. These are, this is actually a family of products. There's the, there's the Classic, the Pro, and the Pro Multi-Format, and of course, there's the upgraded one if you really want to spend, the RetroTink 5X. This is an upscaler device, which would allow your streamer, family member, friend, what have you, to upscale some retro game consoles if they want to play their childhood favorites, which a lot of people dive into around the holidays. That sense of nostalgia and being a kid again comes up. They can actually play those games on their modern TV with this device and stream it if that's what they want as well. It's also great for capturing home movies, VHS tapes, things like that. The device itself is super easy, takes USB power, plug in HDMI from one end to your capture card or TV, and then you've got your composite component or S-video cables that you can run to your classic game console or VCR. Number two is a capture card, specifically either the Cantlinks, which is a group of budget-oriented, less than $5 capture cards. I will have my video on them and a few links to some options in the description below. These can be had for like five bucks or 20 bucks. Or if you wanna get like a slightly nicer one, the EVGA XR1 Lite is specifically a kind of more name brand capture card that is significantly better. It's my top pick for capture cards under $100 and it's been on sale off and on for the holiday season. You can get it for about 60 bucks. It's a great option for streaming console games, PC games, or even just hooking up a camera to your computer. Now for either of these options, if you know that they already have a capture card, you can still buy them this and it be useful because you can still use it for secondary camera angles, for looping in a desktop capture or another game console. There, there, there are so many possibilities that you can unlock by having a secondary video feed that it would be ridiculous for someone to just like not appreciate having another one of these on hand. Like the $5 ones, I recommend most people just buy like five to have on hand. So, so, if, so if they give you a weird look when they open this and they're like, well, I already have a capture card look them straight in the eyes and just say, you'll need another one. You'll know when you know. And just keep that eye contact for as long as possible until they feel really uncomfortable. And then they'll get thinking about leveling up their streams. In that same line, you could get them one of many different webcams out there because even if they already have a camera, which in that case, you can actually budget out and get a cheaper webcam, they can still use them for different camera angles, for blurred out BRB screens, for hand cams, for unboxing cams. There's, like I said, as I literally just said, no end of extra uses you can have in your stream for secondary video feeds. And if they're giving you any crap about getting you a cheap webcam, just tell them I sent you and, and we'll, we'll have a talk. I'm watching. I'm watching. If there are streamers out there who aren't appreciative of getting more streaming gear for the holidays, we're going to have to we're going to have to implement some rules around here. I'm, I'm, instead of elf on a shelf, it's going to be stream professor on a dresser. Next up, which again is something that someone could use multiple of is the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. This is a control device, a little macro keypad with a screen behind the buttons that you can customize the buttons, add cool graphics and things like that. It's a fun toy, but it's also a very powerful controller for everything from their basic streaming software for just like switching scenes or turning on their music, things like that, to completely controlling your computer, to looping in third party plugins to control enterprise level broadcast gear. So it can do just about anything all from this tiny little thing that fits in a stocking. I have plenty of videos up on this in the description below. I use, I have like eight different stream decks around my setup of the mini, the large, the extra large, and I use them to control my computers, my lights, my stream software, activate certain cameras, all sorts of stuff. It's absurdly powerful. And honestly, people who aren't even streamers could benefit from it as well. Coming in at number five, we of course have the Epos Vox Stream Professor desk mat. Yes, I have my own merch, eposvox.gg slash merch, and we have high quality desk mats, pins, stickers, all sorts of stuff in the nice blink VHS style design. So if, if they have a desk, they probably need a desk mat. If you have a desk, you probably need a desk mat. Pick them up, buy one for you, buy one for your family, buy one for your friends, put it on your desk, send me a picture of it, 
and enjoy the free trial of Nebula that comes with it as well. For this next one, I want to talk about computer parts. But as you may be aware, you can't buy your loved one or your friend a, a, an actual graphics card, or at least not the one they want, due to silicon shortages, Bitcoin, crypto, uh, bots buying everything up, shipping delays, all that jazz. It's just impossible. But what you can buy them is a solid state drive. Every computer needs a solid state drive. Even laptops from like the early 2000s benefit from upgrading to a solid state drive. You want SATA instead of NVMe for that one. But every modern computer built in like the last eight years has an M.2 slot for a NVMe SSD. And these are blazing fast and will allow you to store more games and games are taking up more and more space. So while games used to fit on a tiny little cartridge and take up barely any space and modern hard drives could fit like a million of these, modern games take up more than potentially your computer even has storage if you're not a tech savvy person just for one game. So more storage is always great. They can use it for their games, for their recordings, for new boot drives in their next computer build, what have you. And you can get options like the, the WD uh, SN750, the WD Black for under a hundred bucks, which is an incredible SSD. So check it out. Tiny little stick of gum fits right in a stocking. This next one is going to sound super boring. And when they first open it up, they'll probably think it's super boring. So so why would I recommend it? Because I'm a boring person. Well, well no, because it's actually incredibly use useful. This is the Arca Swiss Quick Release System. This is a clamp and a plate that screws onto, say, a tripod or a camera mount or whatever, a, a little gorilla pod, and then you put, screw the plate into the bottom of your camera. And this gives you a quick, just little knob or little latch to adjust to pull your camera off of the mounting system. And if you have a streamer in your life who uses their camera for multiple things, such as a webcam and then taking photos and video and all sorts of things, all that extra time of spinning the camera on the tripod head and on, on, on their mount and things like that is a nightmare. I never want to go back to that. These Arca Swiss plates for like 15 bucks can save them so much time, so much hassle, and so much headache. So even if it looks boring at first and they're like, I don't get it, once they start using it, once that, that light bulb goes off, they're gonna thank you. If they are looking for somewhere to mount up their camera or webcam, the Elgato Multi-Mount is a very simple concept. It's a pull on a clamp that clamps to your desk. It's affordable, it's super basic, there are some knockoffs available now, there weren't of that concept when it was originally made, and then you put your camera on it, preferably on that Arca Swiss plate first. You can mount your lights to it, cameras, webcams, microphones, all sorts of stuff. Just a cheap little stick that mounts to a desk and allows you to easily mount things up, and it's super sturdy. Might be a little tall for, for, for your stocking, but some people like a little tease kind of hanging out. I can't believe I just said that. Speaking of mounting things, we also have the Manfrotto Friction Arm and the Impact Super Clamp. This is an incredible mounting system that can again be used to mount cameras, lights, microphones. I even built a little low profile microphone arm out of it. You can mount just about anything, just about anywhere. It's super flexible, super usable for all sorts of things. Overhead cameras, lighting in the corner, webcam angles. You can mount a drink holder to it if you wanted. So much stuff. I highly recommend anyone who is getting into videography, photography, or mounting some custom desk setup, look into these as a solution. And they're pretty easy to stuff in a stocking and really, again, it's gonna be a little bit boring sounding, but seriously improve the quality of life of their workflow. And what's better than that? What's better than that? Well, our last item, which will come after a message from this video sponsor. This video is brought to you by Riverside.fm, my new favorite podcast and video recording platform and what I will be using for future episodes of my Behind the Streams podcast. Riverside.fm is used by Gary Vee, Guy Raz, Spotify, Disney, and many more creators. It records audio and video locally on each participant's device and uploads these local files automatically to the Riverside dashboard. And oh man, the recordings look like they came straight out of camera, which is bonkers and a huge step up from what I was previously using. No more coordinating recording with your guests or anything like that as it's all really done for them. You can receive separate audio in uncompressed 48 kilohertz wave and video up to 4K tracks for all participants. And by all, I mean all, up to eight co-hosts or guests are allowed, which is wild. Riverside uses progressive uploading so that it uploads while the show goes on so you can download your files within seconds of hitting stop record. With the Magic Editor, you can save hours of editing work with a few clicks. Change your size, positioning, backgrounds, layouts, add a logo, and more. Plus, you can export the video ready to upload to video sites and download a transcription in seconds as well. Guests can even join from iPad and iPhone too. Did I forget to mention the cool part? Riverside Side.fm is also a streaming tool, meaning that while you're recording, you can also live stream to most major platforms, which is pretty neat. But 
streaming does not get in the way of recording. It is a recording first platform with quality as its focus, which I can really appreciate. Plans start from just $7.50 per month. Go to riverside.fm slash eplusfox and use code eplusfox to get $15 off a plan today. What's better than that is a badass camera. The ultimate streaming webcam slash vlogging camera, the Sony ZV-E10. This is a mirrorless camera that comes with a lens and it has zoom, it has incredible autofocus. They even just added an update for pet eye detection autofocus. So if you're shooting videos of your pet, it's gonna detect where your pet's eye is and make sure they stay in focus, which is just mind boggling that cameras have come so far. And it works perfectly as a webcam as well. It is kind of the all in one package if you're looking for something that can do professional level video, but also be super great for amateurs, take decent pictures and work as a webcam. It kind of does it all, but it comes at a cost. This is for you high rollers. If for, for some reason, you're in the position that you're dropping like $600 on a stock and stuffer. You can't go wrong with this. But also, can you can you come drop some stuff off in my stocking as well, please, Santa? Thank you. There you have it. 10 gift ideas, 10 stocking stuffers for the streamer in your life or for you to send someone else in your life if you're a streamer or for yourself. Product links will be in the description below. As always, no product entry or company that makes the products in this video have sponsored the video, had any say, anything like that. And a couple of these won't even have affiliate links in the first place, so there you go. Uh, but hope you enjoyed. Just wanted to get some of this discussion going, get some gift ideas going. I'm always usually too late to this, so hopefully I get it in time that you can actually get stuff shipped to you, but I make no guarantees in that regard because shipping is just awful at the moment. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. I'm the stream professor, Vox, and remember, be kind, rewind.